When you multiply two numbers, each of them is a factor. Look at this example. 3 times 6 equals 18. The product, 18, is the result of multiplying two factors, 3 and 6. The number 18 has other factors, which are shown here. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. The number 18 is divisible by each of these factors, with no remainder. The number of factors determines the type of number. A composite number has at least three factors. Let's look at an example. The number 9 has these factors. 1, 3, 9. It is a composite number because it has three factors. Here's another example. The number 24 has these factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Although 24 has more factors than 9, both are composite numbers. Notice that 9 has an odd number of factors, while 24 has an even number of factors. Why is this? The number 9 is a square number. It can be written as 3 squared. Here are two more square numbers and their factors. 25 is 5 squared. Its factors are 1, 5, 25. 36 is 6 squared. Its factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 12, 18, 36. In both cases each of the square numbers has an odd number of factors. In general, all square numbers have an odd number of factors. Here's why. When you list the factors of a composite number with an even number of factors, for example, the number 12, you can create factor pairs. Here are the factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Pairs of factors, have a product of 12. 1 times 12 equals 12. 2 times 6 equals 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. Now do the same factor pairs with the factors of a square number. Let's look at 36. 1, 2, 3, 6, 12, 18, 36. 1 times 36 is 36. 2 times 18 is 36. 3 times 12 is 36. 6 times 6 is 36. In the last case, 6 is a factor twice but it only appears once on the list of factors. This is why square numbers have an odd number of factors.